If you're looking for a little bit of warm weather and maybe a beach or two, then the Florida Keys might be right up your alley. How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to the Campendium YouTube channel where it's our hope and our goal to provide you with the, the resources and the information to get out there and camp. And today we're looking at some amazing places to stay in the Florida Keys. The Florida Keys are a chain of islands that in their heyday were little secluded tropical islands that were only accessible by boat. And then later train and now the US-1 connects a bunch of those islands together. So now you can take that 113 mile road and just jump from key to key as you go down. With it now being so accessible, the hopes of having a secluded island are long gone. There are still some great places to stay. The first key you come to is Key Largo, and there may not be much elbow room on this island, but there's great places to stay like John Pennekamp Coral Reef State Park. Reading reviews from Traveling Flip Flops and The Crazy Good Life, they both say the location is great. It's better than the park. Being so close to dive shops, kayaking opportunities, and a little fun by the water. If Key Largo isn't your cup of tea and you wanna head down the chain of islands, you could stop at Long Key State Park. With turquoise blue water, sandy beach, palm trees, what more could you want? One review said, loved it here. All the sites are facing the water with a direct view of nothing but ocean. And a bonus, you get plenty of trees on either side for privacy. Nothing fancy about the park other than you have a slice of your own beach. If you would prefer to set up a, a base camp to explore multiple islands, uh, you might wanna look at Marathon, Florida. It's kinda right in the center of the Keys and it has lots of resources there, gro grocery stores, everything that you need to be able to supply up. So uh, you can look at parks like Curry Hammock State Park. Or if you don't mind paying a premium, there's Jolly Roger RV Resort. Some people just absolutely love it. It has some beautiful scenery that makes for some great photos. So as you continue down the Keys to Big Pine Key, it's more of the same with just a little more tinge of nature. So you can stay at places like Bahia Honda State Park. This is a place where it's a good idea to plan ahead with reservations because some people say it has the best beach in the Keys. If that's not available, you can also head over to Big Pine Key Fishing Lodge, where Nick and Amanda like to call it their Florida Keys home. And that brings us to the last key that we're gonna talk about today, which is Key West. So if money is no object, then you might wanna stay at Blue Water Key RV Park, where each site is unique. Most have tiki huts or an outdoor kitchen for an amazing stay. If you're not looking to spend that much, there are always other options like Geiger Key RV Park, where reviews say, great little spot, a short drive away from the bustle of Key West, where Janie B said, it brought back great memories from when they were kids. There's so much more to the Florida Keys. This was just a, a, a taste of what's out there. Now, the Keys might be a little too touristy for some, uh, but if you don't mind going through the, the reservations and having the other tourists around, it, they really are something amazing to see. And you might just find your little slice of leftover paradise just to help those winter months from the north feel just a little shorter. So that's gonna do it for today. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and uh, remember to keep exploring and to travel safe. We will see you next time.